What is going on, guys? DBG here, and today we are going to be talking in depth about the um, the trophy rooms. We're gonna be talking in depth about the trophy rooms and basically what we are going to be doing, or the trophy room, the trophy case. What we're gonna be doing is explain exactly what they are because right now I am currently trying to do the Bulls trophy case. So you can see I've got two of fifteen, and basically what you have to do is you have to get a bunch of like different things. So you see this top. This top one here, the Starry Pendant. I'm pretty sure that you have to, to get the trophy case for, for a team, you have to basically complete one of the game modes. So you get a bunch of option packs. You can choose whatever players you want. If you wanted to, you can mess this up. And like you can just pick the ones that look cool. And then you might have like four from Chicago and three from Miami and one from Charlotte and three from Milwaukee and one from Cleveland instead of having 15 from Chicago and you end up getting no card. So what you have to do is you have to genuinely be like, you have to know what you are looking for. You have to know what you are going to be getting. You really do. Otherwise you're gonna really struggle. So basically that is the whole thing. For me, you gotta know which cards you're getting first. There's no point going like bits and pieces. Literally use everything you can to get your team. So for example, mine is Chicago Bulls. The first two I made sure was Chicago Bulls. Joakim Noah and Ben Gordon. And now you can see from this right here, we have got, I could have swore I had one of these in for my auctions. I could have swore I had one. Um, But basically, basically what it is, is that you have to complete something in every mode to get well something for your team so you see everything that comes with one of these option packs i could have swore i had an option pack i could have swore i had this here i must have already used it oh sorry exchange exchange yeah that makes more sense people in my chat are telling me so in terms of the trophy case cards it's rewards so if you look at say trophy case cards. So I have a legendary franchise moment exchange right here. And what I can do here is if you go to the exchange, instead of packs, you go down to legendary franchise moment down here. Where is it? It's up, it's up, it's up. There's so many exchanges. Rare franchise moment, legendary franchise moment here. So you can see you can only uh, get a couple of these every like season. There's like two option packs. So this is East, this is West. Well, you're only gonna, there's only a certain amount of them you can get this season. So that's where it, that's where it says like you can only get like a certain one. So see legendary franchise moment East here. I'm here. You can see the cards. And I get the option pack. And this here option packs actually go into your pack market so unopen pack legendary bonus. so the mistake I, I can make is you get the option to choose for any of them so i'm trying to get the um the central division so i want Derek Rose. but like looking at this i can pick any random one so i might say oh maybe i want chauncey billups but i don't want to complete the pistons and you might be thinking oh these are just kind of cool cards no no you want you want if you want to go for a team go for a team and make sure you go team by team by team. Because if you don't go team by team by team, you get nobody. You get one player, then go for the second, then go for the third. So you can see here again that my trophy case um, collection, I'm at now three for the Chicago Bulls. I've got three of them. So again, because Derek Rose is the card that I'm going for. But basically, when it comes to this, in order to complete a team, you're gonna to need to do a whole bunch of things. So, if you look at lifetime agendas, I'm trying to, is there any here? No, thankfully there's none of these. Rare franchise accolade exchange. Like you might need for some of these cards to get 400 players. Like you might need me need 400 players to get one of these. Which is really awkward. So, like, you do probably need to spend a lot of money. These cards are way better than level 40. Okay, there's nothing here. Um, But you can see here, Atlantic Division. 
you need to complete all of these to get one current pennant from the east. You need to get complete all of these to get one current uh, current team photo. So like if you want again, there's like a current pennant from the west and current team photo, current jersey, current team photo. So like for to complete one team on the east, you need to complete all of these. Every one of these need to complete one team. And then you need to complete a game mode as well. So basically, if you complete 100 games of... Or you complete the 250 games of this. You can see here, you get a trophy case centerpiece exchange. But if you go and do the same with the Triple Chat Online. Uh, if you play like 100... If you go get 100 wins of Clutch Time Online, you can see Rare Franchise Moment. 100 wins is another thing. Um... And then there's another one for unlimited for getting to the top go. You see these centerpiece rewards. You basically need a centerpiece for every game mode. Every game mode comes with a centerpiece. So in order to get all five and get the division, you need all five centerpieces. So like if you don't complete a game mode, if you don't complete a game mode in any given season, they're pretend you're probably going to miss out on Larry Bird. If you want to get Larry Bird. You need to complete. You need to get to the Dark Matter tier and Unlimited. But at 200 points a win, it's 30 wins. It's not that difficult. You need to complete Clutch Time Online 100 wins. You need to get 100 TT Online wins. You need to get uh, 100 TT, 100 Clutch Time Offline wins. And 250 TT Online wins. Offline wins. If you want to get, if you want to get your Opal this season, or if you even want a chance at Larry Bird, you need to complete every one of these game modes. If you do not complete all of these game modes, you do not have a chance at Larry Bird. This is one of the biggest grinds we have ever had. This is not a, oh, this is a cool thing at the start of the year. There's a reason, because if you guys look at these rewards, they're not meant to be easy. These, tro these trophy case rewards, are in fact better than level 40 cards. Like, these cards all come with 10 huffs. The Opals come with 15 huffs. These are better than level 40 cards. But you have to complete everything. If you want a chance at Larry Bird, as of right now anyway, things are subject to change. You need to complete every mode. You need a complete unlimited. You need a complete TT online, TT offline. And I'm guessing there's a bunch of agendas. Uh, the Historic Trophy, I don't think they're ain't big. Trophy case. Yeah, win 100 TT Online. You need to win 100 TT Online games to get a centerpiece. So, regardless of the other stuff, the other stuff is tedious, but what you need is the five centerpiece. The most important thing are each of the five centerpiece trophies, which are the most important. And in order to get the centerpiece exchange cards... You basically need to complete a mode. You get one centerpiece exchange card per every mode. If you only want a couple of pink diamonds, you only need to complete a couple of modes. If you want all five pink diamonds this season, or you want Larry Bird in a couple of seasons down the line, unfortunately, you've got to complete every single mode over the course of a season. There's time, but I'm just saying, this is... You gotta... Like, this is a much bigger grind than level 40. This is a much bigger grind than level 40. I will say it that much. This is a huge grind. If you don't, um, like if you don't want to do it, it's understandable. This should, there should be no FOMO here because these are the best, like, like these are just a stupidly long grinds. They're the best cards in the game, sure, but they are a stupidly, stupidly long grind. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.